Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you all are good and stay safe and healthy at your places. So, students, now it's time for English session. So, take out your child centric English perfection toolkit to up to joyful see. And now, come on, page number 24. Yes, in earlier session, we read the story, said the kid. So, once again, we will do revision right so you have to read this story right students so try to read the story okay start as i d said t h e the kid kid h a s has a friend f r i e n d friend pip 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 said the kid has a friend pip kid jiska naam sid hai uska friend kaun hai friend ka name kya hai pip okay sid the kid has a friend pip okay next line yes read this pip i s is s i x six pip is six means pips six years ka hai right Pip is big. Big. Pip is big. Kon bada hai? Pip means sit se bada kon hai? Pip. Okay. Next. Pip l i k e s likes for egg and at the last of the word s pigs. Pip likes figs. Right. F I G S figs. Pip likes figs. Or Pip ko kya pasand hai? Figs. Okay. Figs pasand hai usse. Pip is six. Means Pip six years old hai. Pip is big. Age wise Pip sit se bada hai. Pip likes figs. Or Pip ko kaun sa fruit pasand hai? Figs pasand hai. Right? Pip is six. Pip is big. Pip likes figs. Next. Pip can, C-A-N, can, dig, dig, a big, big, big pit. Pip can dig a big pit. This is a pit and he is digging, right? Pip can dig, Pip kya kar sakta hai? Dig a big pit. Ek bada gadda khod sakta hai, right? Pip can dig a big pit. Pit. Pip can dig a big pit. Next line. Sid H A S has a pin pin. This is a pin and a and d and a turn tin. This is a tin. Sid has a pin and a tin. Sid ke paas kya hai? Pin and a tin. Right. Sid has a pin. And a tin. Sit has a pin and a tin. Next line. Pip has H A S has six S I X six eggs E double G S eggs one two three four five six. These are six eggs. Pip has six eggs. Pip ke paas kitne eggs hain? Six eggs. Right? Pip has six eggs. Pip has six eggs. Now, next. Sid has a big wig. Sid has a wig. Or Sid ke paas or kya hai? Wig. Na? Usne wear ki hai? Wig. Right? Sid has a wig. Sid has a wig. Okay, students, so in this way you have to read the story. And now today we will do this question. Who is big? Who has eggs? Who is big? Okay, first of all, give me the answer of these questions. What is the name of Sid's friend? Sid ke friend ka name kya hai? Yes, students. Yes, answer is Sid's friend name. Uh, Sid's friend name is Pip. 
सिड्स फ्रेंड नेम इज पिप सिड के फ्रेंड का नेम क्या है पिप राइट सिड्स फ्रेंड नेम इज पिप एंड नेक्स्ट वॉट कैन पिप डू पिप क्या कर सकता है वॉट डज पिप लाइक और पिप को क्या पसंद है सो आंसर इज पिप कैन डिग अ बिग पिट एंड ही लाइक्स पिट्स Pip can dig a big pit and he likes figs, right? Pip can dig a big pit and he likes figs. He refers to pip, right? So uh, we can't write like this. Pip can dig a big pit, then pip likes figs. जब किसी के बारे में बात होती है तो हम first of all उसका name जब first time mention कर देते हैं तो हम उसको रेफरेंस देने के लिए हम ही और शी यूज करते हैं राइट सो बार बार हम जो नेम है वो बार बार नहीं लेते कि पिप कैन डिग अप बिग पिट देन पिप लाइक्स फिक्स तो ये उसी से रिलेटेड बात है सो वी कैन राइट लाइक पिप कैन डिग अ बिग पिट एंड ही लाइक्स और उसे क्या पसंद है फिक्स पसंद है, है ना हम ये नहीं बोल सकते ना पिप जो है वो जो बिग पिट है उसे खोज सकता है पिप को फिक्स पसंद है हमें ऐसे बोलते हैं ना मोस्टली पिप एक बड़ा गड्ढा खोज सकता है और उसे फिक्स भी पसंद है पिप फिक्स पसंद है राइट सो ही वी यूज हेयर फॉर द रेफरेंस ऑफ पिप राइट सो पिप कैन डिग अ बिग पिट एंड ही लाइक्स फिक्स राइट स्टूडेंट्स Now, who is big? Who has eggs? Okay, कौन big है दोनों में से कौन बड़ा है Sid और Pip कौन बड़ा है Yes, Pip is big because he is सिक्स years old, है ना Pip is big. So our answer is Pip is big. And now again we use and he. Okay, and he likes. Uh, sorry, who has eggs? Or किसके पास eggs हैं? And he has eggs. Okay. So two times को हम uh, two times name नहीं हमने लिखना हम name की जगह second time में he use करेंगे. Right, students? So Pip is big, and he has eggs. Right? Pip. is big and he has eggs aur uske paas kya hai eggs hai right and how many eggs six eggs okay so take out your english notebook with your pencil and eraser let's start question number 2 who is big who is big big yes students who is big and then who has x or x kiske paas hai who has x पिप के पास है ना एक्स देन क्वेश्चन मार्क राइट नाउ राइट हेयर द आंसर स्टार्ट विथ कैपिटल लेटर नेम पिप पिप आई एस इज ब एक बिग pip is big now and a and d and he has eggs right
Now full stop. Pip is big and he has eggs. है ना Pip बड़ा है और उसके पास eggs है किसके पास eggs है Pip के पास So that's why we use here he. Right? तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम नेम मैंशन करते हैं और अगर उसके रिगार्डिंग बात हो रही है तो हम ही और शी यूज करते हैं अगर बॉय है तो ही गर्ल है तो शी ओके कीप इन माइंड पिप इज बेग अब उसी से रिलेटेड बात हो रही है ना पिप इज बेग एंड हु हैज एग्स और किसके पास एग्स है ही हैज एग्स है ना यहां हमने नेम फर्स्ट टाइम मैंशन कर दिया देन वी यूज ही और शी राइट पिप इज बेग एंड ही हैज एग्स Pip is big and he has eggs. और Pip के पास ही हमने यूज किया Pip के लिए और उसके पास eggs है है ना हम यहाँ Pip भी लिख सकते थे लेकिन बार बार नेम रिपीट नहीं करते आंसर में ओके okay? एक बार हमने नेम मैंशन कर दिया यहाँ पे देन वी यूज ही और शी राइट पिप इज बिग एंड ही हैज एग्स और यहाँ पे अगर हम ऐसे लिखते हैं पिप इज बिग एंड पिप हैज एग्स तो वो uh, मतलब एक लाइन होती है ना तो वो अच्छी नहीं लगती तो इसलिए हम ही और शी का यूज करते हैं उससे उसके रिगार्डिंग जब बात चल रही है एक बार नेम मेंशन कर दिया फिर उसके बाद हम यहाँ पे ही और शी करके बात करते हैं उसके लिए राइट स्टूडेंट्स सो पिप इज बिग एंड ही हैज एग्स ओके so you have to read the story and you have to learn these question answers also and you have to send me your regular work and your videos okay you have to read the story and make the video and send me your video okay students so do practice to uh, read the story right okay now pair of children let them read and practice the story in pairs then come forward one by one and read it out aloud let the other children clap for each uh, child that comes forward to read so students you have to read the story and your pa parents will clap for you okay so you have to do practice to read the story on regular basis right students so today's english session is over and now it's time for math session so bring out your math book okay now take out your child centric mathematics perfection toolkit 2 of 2 joyful c and now Open page number fifty one. Yes, in earlier session we did this page additional shapes. So you have to take the correct shapes. So have you done this work? Very good. Now move to the next page. Okay, first of all, circle on today's day. Mention here today's date, month, year, and check out the weather and circle on the weather. Additional shapes. Now see on your screen. Which shape is this? Yes, students. Which shape is this? Yes, this is a hexagon, right? So make a hexagon of the same size given. About fifteen centimeter diameter on any colored paper. Cut the hexagon into six equal triangles as shown and paste the triangles on the figure above. Okay, students. Now you have to take a paper. You can take any colored paper, and then you have to uh, cut the uh, paper in fifteen centimeter. You have to first of all draw a hexagon. with the help of scale you have to draw 15 cm hexagon and then you have to cut the hexagon into six equal triangle shapes right okay see first of all you have to draw the line 
over here 15 centimeter then 15 centimeter here okay then you have to draw a hexagon shape on the colored paper like this and then you have to cut the shape of triangles see here are triangles triangle shapes this is one two three four five and six okay these are six triangle shapes see carefully six triangle shapes then you have to cut the paper into triangle shapes and then you have to paste over here okay paste here glue and then you have to paste the triangle shapes over here right students okay now i'll show you how to draw the hexagon shape on the colored paper right see carefully you can take help of your parents right first of all you have to draw standing line like this of 15 centimeter 15 centimeter ki aapne line draw karni hai standing line then in the middle you have to draw a sleeping line of 15 centimeter again like this right and now you have to draw a hexagon shape over it right so now draw a standing line like this okay and from the bottom you have to draw a standing line like this right now you have to join from the top to the middle like this then from the middle to the bottom side like this again go to the top then you have to join at the middle like this then from the middle to the bottom like this okay now go to the center oh, sorry go to the left side then you have to cross the line and join it at the bottom then go to the right side then draw a line from the center and join at the bottom like this okay now you have to cut out six triangle shapes see here are triangle shapes this is one two three four five and this one six right uh, okay i'll show you uh, it looks like colored paper suppose this is blue colored sheet right and now you have to cut from this side this is one triangle one triangle shape then you have to cut this triangle shape this is the second one then you have to cut a shape of triangle from this third one then this is the fourth triangle shape and now you have to cut this shape this is the fifth one and now you have to cut this shape this is the sixth sixth triangle shape 
right and then you have to paste the triangle shapes over your paper okay you have to cut the triangle shapes then you have to paste over here okay students so you have to do this work now story and role play jolly we can also cut and paste the triangles holly that will form a hexagon jolly a hexagon has six sides right jolly ne kya kaha ki hum ट्राइंगल शेप्स कट करके पेस करेंगे दैट विल फॉर्म अगन और वो कौन सी शेप ले लेंगे हेक्सागन शेप बन जाएगी उसकी राइट अगन हैज सिक्स साइड और हेक्सागन की कितनी साइड होती है सिक्स साइड ओके सो यू हैव टू डू दिस वर्क ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड सेंड मी योर रेगुलर वर्क एंड नाउ टूडेज मैथ सेशन इज ओवर